Hi, and welcome to Planning for Adventure. We're Jesse and David, and this is our crazy family. Whether it's van life or home life, we're always making the most of whatever comes our way through projects, plans, and adventures, be they big or small. We post a new video every Tuesday, so join us for the ride, click like, and subscribe so you don't miss any new content along the road. Welcome to the circus. In today's episode, Bailey meets some new friends of the larger and hairier variety. Not to mention, it's time for her to do something about her own hair, so it is makeover time. Also, we are well overdue for some van life this weekend and heading out to Westeros. Maybe not the mythical dragons that you were hoping for, but we do have some rare and mystical winged creatures coming your way. So, let's go. This is one of my absolute favorite little trails or like walks here around where we live. And I love that they decorated the lamp posts. I think that that is so cool and really awesome. Bailey, you want to keep walking? Bailey? Hey, baby. I really hope we get a chance to see some of the Highland cattle. They might be in the trees resting because it's a little bit sunny and, you know, looking for shade and all that stuff. But hopefully we can see some because we have them basically right around the corner from our house. So uh, they're so pretty and I love the season when they're out. So we'll see. I was hoping that we'd get a clearer view of them, but they're sleeping and chilling and chew and stuff <laughs> in the trees. Thought is probably one of my favorite reasons that we live here in Vaspi, that we have the city so close, but we also have um, stuff like this and just getting out into nature so close at hand. Bailey, you ready to go home? <laughs> Come on, baby. Say bye-bye to the cows. Oh my gosh, they're so cool. I wish I could have gotten a uh, closer look at them today. So Elvira and I actually did end up going back the next day and we did see the cows. They were finally out in the sun. Well, more or less, there was still some shade around, but it was really great to finally see them. This past spring has been a really rough one for me because uh, I've been having some serious health issues and um, and because of that I have not been as mobile as I would usually be or would want to be and um, it's really cool to be able to feel like okay I'm back at the point where I can I have my little Gandalf cane and stuff but um, I've decided that it's badass uh, for as long as I still need it and um, it's nice and it's just amazing to be able to get out into nature like this. Bailey, Bailey! Bailey has totally <laughs> run wild this summer. It is time for her to get a proper haircut. It is time for us to de-wild, I was gonna say de-wild the dog. She'll always be crazy and wild. But it is time for her to get a little bit groomed because she has totally been running crazy all summer and we haven't given her a bath or shaved her for quite a while. So these are shampoo and conditioner that we use, top line. Um, intense conditioner and the degreasing shampoo and then we also use a sleek serum um, but this one is actually for people people and uh, and the leave-in conditioner 
So uh, let's see if we can get Bailey looking fabulous. You getting ready to get pretty? Hey, you want to shave, honey? You need to shave? <laughs> So um, first we're going to go through her just getting tangles and things like that out before the actual, before actual bath time. In there. Degrease, degrease in condition. Good girl. There we go. Good girl. You are so good at this, it's crazy. Usually I use the uh, tangle teaser on her first because it's a little bit softer and it just feels nicer. on makeover day. Who's a fluffy puppy? We are heading to Westeros. David's looking fancy. <laughs> this is how fancy people drive cars, wearing suits. Van like, life, yo. Van life, baby. <laughs> seriousness though um, we are actually heading to Westeros not Game of Thrones Vestiduos is actually how we pronounce it here so Vestiduos is a town so we're gonna be driving like an hour yeah something like that because David is a man of hidden talents yeah the suit is just sort of a hint he's a magician <laughs> So while David is in doing the whole rehearsal thing for their concert, I'm enjoying the van and just taking it easy. I've prepared with several journals uh, for different things. <laughs> Got brought a book and then this is the latest one I've been reading, Obscure Pass. It's really good uh, if you like Swedish books. And planning, 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 and a little bit of sour. I'm trying to make up my mind and I can't. <laughs> I think, I think I'm gonna go with 
I think I'm gonna go with hot chocolate for now. There might be more later, so. We do have a really, really nice parking spot here while I'm waiting for David. And I thought I'd go out and enjoy it a little bit. Something that I really, really enjoy when it comes to Sweden is the fact that the place isn't a huge country, so it doesn't take all that long to go to different cities. And there's so much to see. So the cathedral there in Vestoros was consecrated in 1271, which means we're talking 700 plus years. Obviously, lots of things have happened since they first started it and things have been added and rebuilt and, and all of that jazz, but it's pretty cool that you have things that are that old. We don't have hummingbirds in Sweden. Okay, I knew that I was right and we don't actually have hummingbirds in Sweden, but I figured out what it was. Apparently it's a hummingbird hawk moth. I have never heard of that. I've never seen one. Um, that totally, I, that was just really fascinating. And I love that, that I was actually able to film it. That was totally crazy. Um, I don't know. Are those? Has any? Have you guys seen them before? Because I've I've never even heard of I've never even heard of one. But that was really cool looking. I don't know how you guys are when it comes to journaling and those kind of things, but I have a tendency to. And I talk, I was talking to my sister about this the other day, because um, she had found a bunch of her old diaries, <laughs> and that whole concept of like you look back and you read and it's like, dear diary. I'm so sorry I haven't written in a while because, you know, apologizing to your diary, it's a thing. Um, but I started doing this thing where um, I found on Pinterest like journal prompts. So just like journaling, not just about what I've been doing during my day and stuff like that, but like specific questions like, you know, what, uh, you know, what does your perfect morning look like? Things like that. And just sort of reflecting and thinking about stuff that maybe you wouldn't naturally journal about. And I really like it. I think it's really fun. So yeah, that's a suggestion. If you guys like journaling, because I do. Welcome back. Thank you. What How are you doing? Just journaling a bit. How'd it go? Good. Cool, cool. Awesome. How long do you guys have till the concert starts? Uh, 50 minutes. Okay, cool. It's the pirate. It's the pirate. The 
church pirate. Sally the church pirate. <laughs> I love it. I think it's awesome. today. Thank you for joining me on my concert and this little trip to Westeros. 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 We are actually coming back to this place to explore some more here. So There's some really cool stuff yes. that we want to take a look at. Thank you so much everybody for joining us here in Westeros. Westeros. And not quite Game of Thrones but still riveting. It's been a fabulous, so fabulous fun. week. Oh my awesome. God, the dog looks amazing. Anyway, uh, we're happy that you guys tagged along. Click like and subscribe if you have fun with us because we like having fun with you. See you guys later. Bye-bye.